Scotty Gomez learned to be a pro in our second season. Last time we left you, the harvest. It gets kind of cold. Mother Nature showed her tip. That's the way she goes in Alaska. Here's what happened. Ended up with a lot of green tomatoes. A lot of people were calling. Uncle Scott, what do we do? No problem. My Uncle Timmy had the best recipe for a green chili sauce. Salsa verde. Don't worry about it if you can't say it. It's all good. Let's go. Ingredients, pretty easy. One whole onion, three jalapenos, eight green tomatoes, a handful of cilantro, three to six cloves of garlic, salt, pepper, whatever spice you want, it's up to you. Like my Uncle Timmy used to always say, one thing about Latins, they can make salsa out of anything. We're gonna give you the trick tonight. All right, step one, green tomatoes. Take the stem off, obviously we already did that. Grab them all, place them in the hot water, boiling water. Careful, don't spray yourself. Step two, jalapenos. We want these off too. Easy cut. Easy cut. Three, jalapenos in the hot water. Now that we have step one done, this is why you started early. You got no complaints. You gotta let this boil for 15 to 20 minutes. In the meantime, put the tunes on. Wait. All right, so now that we waited 15 to 20 minutes, whatever you like, the tomatoes, they should be floating up. They should be soft. The fork, right there. Get that? Shouldn't be a Monday night where you're digging. Saturday night, nice and soft. There we go, that's the indication, right there. Strainer. Jalapenos, oh, tomatoes, make sure they're all out. Alrighty, get all that extra fluid out, water out. I used to like to do two of these. Anyway, blender. Most blenders have a top. You're at a Mexican household, we don't. It's okay, don't get nervous. A plate always works for the top. So now that we got a strain, a big mistake a lot of people make, they get, they get caught they think they're just gonna pour it like that. Don't. Down, get a spoon, treat it gentle. It's Uncle Timmy's sauce. Don't treat this, you wanna treat it gentle. Pour it nice and good. Mm, great tomatoes. Get everything you want. So now that we got it in the blender, Uncle Timmy's secret. You want to chop it. You don't want to blend, you just want to chop it nice and soft. Uncle Timmy used to say the four count. So we'll go to four count. Go to Mexican blender. Either way, we'll go this way or that way. We'll go this way today. We'll go to chop. Four count. I like to go with the four count. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Look at that. That nice paste right there. Now that we got it, the most important thing comes. The spice. It's like the rhythm in a song. Now we gotta make it taste good for everyone. We're here early, we're fine, but now it's the go time. Got a perfect blend, got a perfect chop, got a perfect texture. Time to spice it up. Here's where the science comes. Let's see. Grab a bowl. Pour that all out. Should saw it. Phase two. We grab the garlic. Come back. Right back in the blender. With our spoon. One scoop. One scoop back of the sauce. Goes back in. Blender top. Mexican style. Chop up. Now we really want that to chop up. We really want the flavor to come out. We want almost we want to purify it. But you want it on chop. Good thing about a Mexican blender, you can always check it out. Don't get too cocky. It's not used to a plate. Trust me, don't. So now that we got the garlic in the sauce, step number three. Put it back in the sauce. 
sure it's all out. When all that garlic taste, the rich flavor, just gives it, mmm, gives it that mmm with the spoon. Mix it around. Make sure we're covering all the ingredients, put it all in. Now we go to the onion. Whole onion, chop in half, dice it up a little bit. We want them to cut nice and we want it to purify. Onion. Second half. Now just don't blend it. Remember what we said. Now we go back to the sauce. One and a half scoops this time. Now we get the end in five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Back in. Want to mix that up? So now, our last ingredients, cilantro. We put it in, grab our sauce, one scoop, maybe one and a half. I'm feeling kind of spicy today. Right, we go back, put our sauce in, two seconds. Most important thing, one, two. It's gotta be bang, bang. Chopped up. Back. Most people like to keep a spoon. I say get rid of it. And fork. So now, we have famous Uncle Timmy's chile salsa. Better day, whatever you want to say. Now it's spiced up. Salt. Pepper. And now it just comes to taste. You know your party, you know what it's like. Right here. Remember, never double dip, never double dip the spoon. There you go, Uncle Timmy's famous green chili sauce. This goes on everything. Enchiladas, hamburgers, mozzarella sticks, fries, cheese fries. Fuck, put it on a salad, that's the whole point. From the start, there was a dream. There was a dream of a garden. And most people get nervous. Hey, my tomatoes didn't go through all the way. But now you just learn at Uncle Scott's house. Never give up on your dreams. Just because they were green, like my Uncle Timmy always said. When you're Latin, you can make a salsa out of anything.